Oh, welcome friends, all of you. So I am just welcoming you to this new tutorial on uh, the analytical aerodynamics. How this Djokovic transformation? I made a first video which was success. Yeah, how analytical aerodynamics? How Djokovic transformation is used in aircraft wings and uh, in the the, uh, yeah, the fan blade of in the fan blade in the windmill fan blade so it is how complex numbers can help uh, mechanical engineers so mechanical engineers when there is a windmill i'll tell you mill like this when you just have this windmill it is off like this a windmill is long erected in this manner so it is off like this when the wind blows in this direction the windmill will rotate in this direction so now what happens is that this air this wing cross section when you take this cross section it is of this cross section as i am showing you here it is shown shown in here also like this in this cross section how did this cross section come so how did mechanical engineers and the aeronautical engineers know this and with the aeronautical engineer when you have a flight like this when you have a flight like this you have an aircraft wing when you just take the cross section of this wing it is just of this shape how did this happen it didn't happen by one day so this Djokovic transformation there is a Mobius conformal transformation in which sorry in conformal transformation in which this can be done so now what happens is that uh, zeta plus L squared I have already made a video so I have just written another transformation which is so advanced like uh, Carmen Truft's airfoil transformation this is what we are going to use so I have made here so this is K into L for zeta I am putting Z so now what happens is that I am just uh, substituting these things I am just substituting these things so I am just substituting for Z X plus I Y percentage is denoted in the percentage I is denoting the imaginary number okay so this is the thing so next what you have to do is I am just giving the 1 by 1 1 7 as output and what will happen is that I am substituting for X for this X I am substituting for Z I have substituted X plus percentage I Y X plus percentage I Y percentage is for imaginary then for X I am substituting cos T okay then for Y I am substituting sin t okay sin t minus b okay sin t minus b then what i am doing is is somewhat familiar what you can understand okay somewhat familiar that you can understand so now what happens is that i am going to separate this so in here as you can see from here the total thing so first i kl into z plus L minus Z minus L which is what shown over here so I am just separating it into this manner then I am substituting cos T and sin T then after that I am going to substitute this um, uh, so called um, imaginary part and real part I am going to get so it will take a long time ok so again this has taken a very long equation so what are you thinking what's in your mind so you are thinking that what is this guy doing he is just substituting some equations to show that the aircraft wind is caused due to this equation yes you are correct the aircraft wind the aircraft wind is being generated because of this equations as you can see from here so that is what i am telling you okay so when you just have this for example you just have this no when you just substitute for k and l for l minus 0.8583 and for uh, l a for k 1.9167 when you just substitute this no substitute what is the for l minus 0.8583 okay for l you substitute 0.8583 
83 and you have to note that it is minus so it is minus so minus okay for l and for k i am going to substitute 1.9167 for k i am going to substitute 1 1.9167 okay substitute it and you have this equation then what you have to do is you have to copy this equation okay copy it okay as it is in MATLAB or octave form and I have a small software that I have to show you where you can test this how this equation is being cost okay so Djokovsky who just found this equation as you can see from here he just transformed this beautiful equation okay transformed this beautiful equation where uh, you can see this where I have pasted the pasted the equation over here and I'm just clicking it ok as you can see here this grid is showing over here okay this grid is like this so now when I am just drawing a circle as shown over here when I am just drawing the circle for this equation see the mouse pointer what will happen you can see so I am just taking a circle this this software is actually uh, this is explore.3d so you just take a circle ok you just take a circle choose a mouse by circle and you just draw this as you can see there is a aircraft wing like shaped as shown over here and again you take a circle remove that circle and draw a circle okay there is a misshaped like this but what you can do is you can draw the circle by you can draw the circle when you just want to find the best chord length as you can see this is the best chord length when you just tweak it it will just expand and contract these are all formed due to when you are changing L and this values and these equations can be generated so then what you have to do is you have to remove the circle and take the circle and draw this equation so this equation you can get it by transforming the circle to various places as you can see it is remove some circles and you just transform that circle so you, you get this equation over here so when you just draw one circle over here it just transforms into a kind of uh, uh, equation in this manner so when you just remove it and you just draw this you just get this equation correctly so you can get this by just moving the circles you can just tweak it okay you moving the circles you can just get the aircraft wing shape okay you can get the aircraft wing shape and you can see this in also in Ma, in this Mobius or this Riemannian spear method okay view in Riemannian sphere so this is the Riemannian sphere method as you can see from here okay so what I have done I will recap for you okay so these are the thing I have done so this is the formula for Kerman drifts transformation in analytical aerodynamics so I have just added this for K and L I have given some equations and I have just for Z I have substituted these equations and cos t and minus t are nothing but parametric equations of circle when you just move the circle in this direction like this when you just move the circle in this direction this transformation will be generated for a wing so this is what I have done so I have just substituted all those things so in this equation I have first substituted x plus percentage i y percentage is nothing but denoting the maximum syntax of imaginary number okay and you have to just separate into real and imaginary part and this is the parametric equation of a aircraft wing okay so thank you this is the parametric equation of an aircraft wing so this is the topic of the video in analytical aerodynamics so thank you for Kerman drifts equation
Thank you, friends.